Cardiothoracic robotic surgery means less invasion of the body, uh, hopefully a faster recovery, a decreased chance of uh, complications, particularly infection complications, decreased blood loss. In general, just a, a better way to get the surgery done uh, with less invasion of their body. This has now made it an acceptable way and a very good way and in a lot of patients a preferable way to approach complex valvular disease and not compromise on the view or the, the repair uh, technique that we use. And I think that it's great to be able to offer patients this because, uh, again, having heart surgery is a huge issue for everybody. It's often the biggest thing they'll ever do in their whole lives. The procedure that has been most widely adopted with the robot is mitral valve repair and in some cases mitral valve replacement. The largest experience is with that particular disease process. It's also been applied for atrial septal defect, for tricuspid valve disease, for intracardiac tumors, and also in some cases for surgical revascularization. The term that's most commonly used is coronary artery bypass grafting or cabbage. The people that we have operated on, again, have been people with atrial septal defects, uh, cardiac tumors, mitral and uh, tricuspid valve abnormalities that lend themselves to, to repair. They need to be people that have adequate vasculature that allows us to access. It's still the same operation. We use the heart-lung machine. We still stop the heart. We just do it at a distance, if you will. Instead of having everything right in front of us where we can directly cannulate, we do it from different sites. So we need to pass these cannulas up through the vasculature. So the vasculature cannot be too diseased too narrowed so that we can get these cannulas in. That's really the, the biggest issue, quite honestly, uh, because we need to use the heart-lung machine, and again, it's the same operation, but, uh, but we need to access them, and it requires good vasculature. I had a mitral valve repair using robotic technology. I, I did my homework a little bit, and I, and I realized that if I had open heart surgery, the recovery time was going to be a lot longer than, than had I had robotic surgery. So I really didn't want to be away from work, laying on the couch and, and recovering and really not being a part of my family's life for a while and having them take care of me. I wanted, I wanted to get on with my life and just go back to normal. Um, I had a valve in my heart uh, that was not functioning. It was my mitral valve which was not functioning properly and they repaired it rather than replacing it. As I understand it, the repair is much more likely to be successful longer than a replacement. And the amount of drugs and things you have to take for the repair are much less than that for the replacement. Well, it was a real surprise when my cardiologist said he wanted to recommend that I see a surgeon, Dr. Tyner. The reason for it was I had a little tumor that they discovered. I don't know how many doctors, I think there were 10 or, or more, discussed my case and there was no doubt in any of their minds that I was a candidate for robotic surgery. I didn't really know what to expect. Every day and every few hours was a constant amazement. Robotic surgery represents a, an alternative that uh, creates much less of a wound burden for the patient. The incisions are much smaller, the amount of tissue trauma is significantly less. Uh, the need to spread the ribs or open the sternum to accomplish the surgery uh, goes away. All those things impact the pace at which a patient can heal. It is the same operation, but it allows it to be done in a way that will give them a lot less discomfort uh, but there's no gimmicks involved. It's just we do the same operation and we, they should expect the, the same good result. The Scripps team has a real dedication to the task. There's a real camaraderie in the approach here. Part of my enthusiasm from robotic surgery arose from my colleagues, from uh, nurses and operating room techs, from the anesthesiologists, from the perfusionists, all the people that I work with on a regular basis uh, who have been very excited about the idea of providing this kind of care to patients. Once you see these cases happen and compare them to other cases, you can't help but feel like this is something that's better for the future.